situation you find me in now is when I've actually positioned the golf ball on a down slope. Now often we'd consider that a ball on a down slope is going to be an advantage for us because it's running down towards the target. But actually for those experienced golfers, they know that a down slope like this can cause us lots and lots of problems. You imagine a, a shot or a hole like the 10th Augusta, big dog leg from right to left, but a player's ball that lands on the down slope makes it a very tricky shot. The players would much rather run down to the bottom of that hill and get it on the flat. But as I've got myself on the down slope here, it's what do we need to consider in this situation to make the best possible execution of the shot. The first thing I'd always try and do is match my body line to the hill. So if I'm playing this as a down slope, I actually want to sit my body with the slope, angle my shoulders parallel to the slope and angle my spine perpendicular to the slope. And that's contrary to what a lot of golfers feel in this situation. Lots of golfers, when they get in this situation, feel like they want to help that ball back up into the air, which would involve leaning back and scooping. But if I'm in a position here to set up to that ball, and then I lean back and try and scoop the ball up into the air, I'm just going to dig the club into the ground very early, very far before the ball, and that can't work for me. So if the hill slopes this way, I want to get my body sloping and tilting this way, so my downswing slopes and tilts this way as well. So that should encourage me to get a slightly better contact on the ball. I can also play the ball a little bit further back in my stance to get a better contact. So it's tilt with the hill, move the ball back in your stance. The last consideration here is what will this hill now do to the shot? Well, if I've taken my uh, eight iron as I've got here, and then I tilt everything forwards with my shoulders, this will then have less loft. If it's got less loft, the ball will fly lower, and potentially when the ball lands, it will roll further as well. So I have to allow for that in my pre-shot preparation and understanding how the ball will react. So it's going to come out low and going to roll. That might mean the eight iron actually reacts more like a seven or even a six. So it might be too much club. So I can then set my ball up slightly back of center, tilt my shoulder so I'm leaning with the hill, lean my handle forwards, have a practice swing or two, feel like I'm chasing down the hill. I'm not leaning back trying to help it. And then as I go ahead and hit this ball, we're expecting this ball to come out quite low and roll quite a long way and it chases forwards there, drills out like a low punch shot, runs up onto the putting surface, and you can see I was able to take a nice divot. And what was good about that is the divot came from after the golf ball. I think in this situation, the fear would be taking a divot before the ball. Taking a divot before the ball would be a very unsuccessful shot, but quite common from this lie. So next time you're practicing on the slopes, tilt your shoulders with the hill, play the ball slightly further back, chase the club down the hill and see if you can get that low running shot that runs all the way up to the green.